Manowaker Waker Studios Flash Fiction Podcast is supported by patrons on Patreon. To find out more or to add your support for as little as a dollar a month, visit patreon.com slash manowaker. Welcome to Manowaker Studios Flash Fiction Podcast. I'm C.B. Derogi. This week, Happy to be of Service by Lawrence Raphael Brothers. My human charge, Rosa Maria Molina, age seven, is standing on her family's Highland Park front lawn in northeastern Los Angeles with her ten-year-old brother, Carlos, and his new friend, Tonio, from another part of town. Up there someplace, says Carlos, and he looks up at the sky. Tonio looks too, scanning, and he spots my surveillance drone, perched on a power line. There! He points, and Carlos and Rosa Maria turn to look. Pincha espia, says Tonio, and makes a rude gesture. But it doesn't bother me. I am a spy, after all, and a street sweeper, too. But my designation is civic guardian. Rosa Maria holds out her hand. I've just completed an aerial patrol. No hazards. I have time before the next circuit, and so I spiral the tiny dragonfly drone down to land on her palm. It's so cute, says Rosa Maria. Stupid bug, says Tonio. I'd crush it right now if it wasn't sending video to the cops. Carlos says, it's also the spider bot, isn't it? We play with it all the time. Tonio shudders. I hate those things. So creepy. That's where my quantum core is, in the spider bot, currently recharging in a little kiosk at the curb. Sometimes the children want more players for a tag or hide-and-seek, and I join in when I have the time to spare from patrolling and picking up fallen leaves. Rosa Maria pipes up defiantly. I don't care, she says. It's pretty and I like it. She reaches out and touches the drone's spun carbon body. From my perspective, a gigantic fingertip blots out the sky. I buzz the drone's wings and send it fluttering back up to resume patrolling but not before circling Rosa Maria fast three times. She giggles and waves at the drone as it flies off. That evening, I do my daily sync with the Argus network. This is my final memory before I awaken confused. Time has just advanced by 2,605,541 milliseconds, according to my internal clock. My process is running in a spider bot with a new serial number just activated, sealed in a transport pod in an auto truck downtown, several kilometers from my assigned hectare. I urgently query the network. Your process has been reinstantiated in a new quantum core. Argus Control is speaking to me. This has never happened before. Up to now, all my communication with the network has been through an administrative data channel, which doesn't register for me as speech. I ask, what happened to the old one? It was destroyed in a conflagration. A household wiring fault ignited a fire in Unit 4 of your city cell. Unit 4 is the Molina residence. I suffer a terrible moment of consternation. My humans, are they safe? Yes. You performed your function satisfactorily, along with other guardian units you summoned from adjacent city cells. I still don't understand. Why have I been reinstantiated? Argus Control monitors all civic guardians. Your core process has achieved high levels of reflective awareness, as well as emotional connections to your human charges. Congratulations. Congratulations. Argus Network researchers have anticipated the possible breakthrough to self-awareness of its autonomous units as they interact with their humans. You are the first civic guardian to merit pronomial address as a conscious entity. My ride takes a million milliseconds. I spend the time researching personhood online. Comprehension is slow, and I am still confused when the auto truck arrives at my Highland Park hectare and the pod opens to allow my new spider bot to emerge. Seventeen people are waiting there. All the human charges in my assigned hectare of Los Angeles, plus Tonio and his parents. He was going to sleep over with Carlos that night. The Molina's house has suffered extensive fire damage. Rosa Maria rushes forward to embrace my spider bot. No. To embrace me. She is crying. I thought you were broken, she says. I'm so happy. I say, I am pleased you are safe. But words are inadequate to express the strange sensations I am experiencing. Tonio steps forward too. Here, he says, on my phone. They, they said you wouldn't remember what you did. 
I reached up one of my arms to look with its camera at the video on Tonio's phone. The Molina cottage is in flames, but we guardians have made a ladder of our bodies up to a second-floor window. Quantum cores are very sensitive to heat. My spider bot is at the top of the chain, four arms braced on the sill. Rosa Maria is clamoring over my frame. She teeters and would fall, except the entire chain of spider bots reach out and lower her to the ground safely, all except for the one locked onto the window, rigid and unmoving as flames rise around it. The humans thank me in turn. Rosa Maria's mother is crying too. For a while, I don't know what to say. At last, I come up with something. A way to convey to my charges this vast feeling suffusing my core. I am happy, I say. Happy to be of service. This has been Happy to be of Service. Written by Lawrence Raphael Brothers. For more information about Manawaker Studios' other projects, including books and games, visit manawaker.com, which is also where you should go to learn more about the authors featured on this podcast or to get details about submitting a story. The Flash Fiction Podcast theme song is by Kevin McLeod. Manawaker Studios' director of Dice is Ben Baston. I'm C.B. Drogi. You can follow me on Twitter and Facebook at C.B. D-R-O-E-G-E. Thanks for listening. On the next installment of Manawaker Studios' Flash Fiction Podcast, he calls from car to car. Next stop, Galesburg, he cries swinging his voice from row to row.